my name is Jodal Gavinder and I'm the CEO of Argento Trading, uh, all the way in Isitelda. Um, I manage a factory and own part own um, that manufactures clothing for corporate and retail. And we have 70 ladies at the moment. Um, factory is predominantly run by female. Um, and we had recently opened a new training school, uh, which we've got 18 young uh, ladies from the, from the rural area of Isitelda in our training. And that's about us. I think um, achieving is quite a big word. I, I, I don't know how you would uh, describe achieving, but for me, every day is an achievement. Every little thing is an achievement. We have a culture of continuous improvement, uh, so it's easy to achieve things on a daily basis. But I think our biggest one was achieving a stable culture that we have right now, uh, a culture where everybody feels included in the business. We've also recently a few months back, uh, won the SME Accelerator program, being the fastest growing SME in KZN. Um, so I think, yeah, and, and we're having a lot of ladies on board, you know, it's not easy to have 70 ladies all in agreement at one time. So uh, that's quite an achievement, I think. Uh, we, I think the training school was a highlight for me as, as a leader, having to, to open something, uh, you know, far beyond uh, just monetary value, you know, leaving a legacy behind, that was important. So I think my biggest achievement, or I would say agenda as well, was actually opening that training school. So I came from a co corporate background. Uh, I worked for a mega corporate company and I enjoyed what I did. But I always had that, uh, I'm quite a people's person if you know me by now. So it was easy when uh, my husband retired five years ago and he had this big building and he didn't know what to do with it. And he said, take it and do whatever you want with it. So we started uh, five years ago with selling toilet paper and anything that we could do to hustle and bustle uh, after I resigned from my corporate uh, job. And um, that's where it started. It, it, it was a dream. I don't think it was a dream to have, let's say, a factory manufacturing clothes, but it was a dream to, to do something, you know, to be part of this big world, do something good in this bad world. I think that's what it was. So it was definitely a dream uh, to, to, to establish something that would, that would make an impact, that would help a bit wherever it was and whatever it was doing. So it didn't necessarily say it was mapped out to be a manufacturing company. It started as an industrial tool company. It went on to specializing on power tools and then it moved into, into clothing. So far from where it started to where it's ending at, oh, we're still continuing with that. I like clothing. I think every lady does. But uh, I think when I saw in Isitaba, if you know a little background of Isitaba, it used to be a hub for manufacturing and it kind of lost its touch in the last five years. You know, factories have withdrawn and with everything that was going on. Um, I decided that was the area that needed help. And, um, and so I started as, as buying and selling clothing for, for, for one of the companies that gave me a chance. And in 2018, they had an RFQ and uh, we attended for the RFQ and we won it. And they kind of six months later came to us and said, okay, we want to incubate you now. You know, We want you to be an ED supplier, so enterprise development, and we will help you along the way. And we started dressing, I think it was a thousand people, 1,700 in 2019. And before we knew it, uh, the same company we were with five years later and we're dressing 10,800. We do 11 items manufactured. We started with four people. Uh, with 10 machines, all secondhand. Um, and now we've got about 150 machines, uh, recently brand uh, retooled the factory. Uh, so yeah, it's quite a journey, it's been quite a journey. I think the, the biggest inspiration to start it was my husband. Uh, reason being was uh, he, he kind of gave it to me and, and didn't have any conditions over it, what I did with it or how I did it. Uh, I never stepped into this day. Uh, being one of the partners, he just trusted every decision I made how wrong it could be or how silly it could be. Uh, and him having more of a, being an entrepreneur than I was, uh, I, it was easy, you know, it was easy to, to bring out that whatever was in me. So I would say him, but um, the most biggest one recently that keeps me going is the ladies that I have at the factory. Unbelievable. Uh, you know, that wake up at four in the morning to walk on a corrugated road, um, to come to work, you know, to stand, to catch a taxi at five, but an hour long walk in, in, in a rural area where there's no tarred road. You know, those kind of things, uh, I have 70% of them are single moms. Um, so the fact that they're there for a reason, the passion, the commitment, almost 90% that haven't even finished school. Um, so I think those kind of things uh, makes me privileged for what I have and makes me understand that if I'm given a platform like this, I've got to do what I have to do, you know, for those kind of people that wake up every day for the commitment and, and 
So that inspires me that, you know, those kind of people every day, 70% of them are older than me. I still can't call them by their names. You know, having an Indian culture, it's hard to, we were trained not to really speak to our elders by their name. So it's to my mother, so mama, can you do that, you know? So I think it was a lot to do with my upbringing as well. Um, I'm big in spirituality. Uh, I'm a big child of God as well. So I believe God's grace was there and it's important. What you give is what you get. So I think, the inspiration came from the fact that they give so much and, and that's what I'm giving back in return. So they are actually my biggest inspiration is my workers every day. Yeah, I think, um, you know, a lot of people would say because I was female, but luckily for me, being female, I was uh, given a lot of opportunities, you know, uh, by the lovely gentleman that I crossed paths with. I was given a fair chance. I don't think I had it that hard in the sense that the doors were opened, a lot were slammed, a lot, lot were slammed, but they were slammed for the right reasons, uh, the right ones opened. And when they did, the challenges were after that. I mean, finance is always a challenge, you know, starting a business from zero cent, absolutely no bank balance, just a name, you know, and a building uh, was hard to build it up. Uh, I think getting, understanding the customer in the beginning, it was quite a big corporate customer and, and meeting to the deadlines and, and not having the skill behind you to support that was, was a big challenge. Um, not having transportation to deliver the goods was a challenge, you know, training people at the same time, juggling all those balls was a challenge as, as an entrepreneur. It, I think in, in, whether male or female, you, everyone will feel that. So for me, those challenges were there every day. They're still there. They're still there. They're even bigger now. So uh, challenges are always there, but I think uh, the nice part of it, they were all learning challenges. From every challenge we learned, we got stronger by it. And uh, looking forward to the next challenge. <laughs> My future goals would be leaving a company with a legacy that made a difference, something that uh, that people can you know want to be part of, uh, something that actually impacts and makes a difference. Uh, that would be my goal. And to have something that's sustainable, uh, localization, a big part of it, uh, collaborating with the right partners. So something that would sustain what it has at the moment. Uh, and keeping Isiteva alive, keeping you know the, the next generation of women that are coming and need the job. If you think of everything came out of Isiteva before even I was born, I must have been in primary school. And when I hear the stories from my parents, they had a denim factory, they had a toweling factory. I mean, Levi's at one time was done there. So it's sad to see now that we've got such a big community and, and all the skills are there. So yes, you know, when I was asked one time, we can compete with China. We have the skills, we have a mill house, we've got local fabric. You know, why we're not doing it so much, I don't know. But I think money is always an issue. But uh, sometimes when humanity is involved, uh, we sometimes need to just put the money aside. It would come. It will come in time. So for me, yes, the, my goals would be just to leave a company that can sustain for the next generation. To the young woman out there, be bold. Uh, that's what got me where I was. Um, I'm somebody that would never take no for an answer. Not easily, maybe politely, but uh, always back. Keep knocking those doors. Uh, it's going to get hard. There's no free lunch for anybody in this world. No matter what anybody tells you, there's no free lunch. So if you're prepared to do the work, uh, then you will reap what you sow. Guaranteed, you will reap what you sow. To relax and unwind, um, I work. I, I don't have any hobbies. I work and I spend a lot of time with my kids. I have five kids, so. Um, but I, I spend a lot of time, uh, maybe, I do meditation now and then when I do get a chance. Being part of the KZN top businesswoman, uh, for me, uh, it's a lot. You know, I, when I saw my name there or even saw a nomination, it was like, okay, now you can dust your shoulders, you know. Somebody recognized it. it it's important that uh, a platform like this is given for businesswoman. It's very important. Uh, you know, very seldom you hear that, you know. And, and why wait until we a multi-million rand company, you know, Start from the bottom. That's where the motivation starts. That this platform would definitely want me to work even harder, you know, to see who the next generation is coming up, who the next entrepreneurs. So a little, I, I'm strong in that in my business is that I believe in, in in integrity. I believe in respect. So I know what a pat on the back can do for my staff. So believe me, this is a pat on my back. So it's only going to want to make me work harder. So it's it's quite an achievement, uh, I would think, for any woman out there, not only for me. Uh, but personally, um, I think it will just make me work even better than, probably come out even a little bit better than when I entered, for sure.